Hey guys, welcome back to Next Gen Blogger and in this video, I want to show you how you can create a stunning title introduction in VSDC Free Video Editor. Now, there are various ways in which you can introduce a title on your screen and today we will see one such way. So without further delay, let's get started. Now, the first thing which I would like to do is I would like to add a text object in the editor. So go to add object, go to text, click on text and then click on OK. Now I want my title to appear at the center of the screen. So let me just mark my text object accordingly right at the center. You can use the alignment tool to align it perfectly in the center. Now let me just write some text inside my text object. So let's say let me just write the name of my YouTube channel next gen blogger and let me just make some other modifications so first of all let me just center align my text and let's also change the font from Arial to Rockwell and uh, let's increase the font size from 18 pixels to somewhere around 28 pixels I also want to increase the space between my letters and so for that you got this tracking option present right here so let me just increase the space between my letters perfect now the next thing which I would like to do is I would like to add a border around my title and so for that I will be using the rectangle object. So go to add object and click on rectangle. Now click on OK. Now mark your rectangle on top of your title like this. Perfect. And uh, now place your rectangle object below the text object in the editor and uh, look inside the rectangle object settings which is present inside the properties window. Okay, before that I want to change the style of my rectangle. So you will find the rectangle styles option right at the top. So we got six different rectangle styles. So I want to select this particular style right here. So let me just click on that and now look inside the rectangle object settings which is present inside the properties window and uh, we will make couple of changes right here so the color is set to black so I want to change it to white so let me just change the color to white and uh, thickness is 1 so increase the thickness from 1 to 3 so that the border is clearly visible perfect perfect so now what I would really like to do is um, okay first of all let me just convert the rectangle object and the text object in a sprite because I would require a sprite for doing further things. So click on this particular option which is select all and it will select all the objects in your editor and now right click on any one object and click on this particular option convert to sprite now look inside the sprite object settings which is present inside the properties window and we will make couple of changes right here so use as container is set to yes so change it to no and show effects is set to no so change it to yes and fill background is set to yes so again change this to no perfect now double click on the sprite object and what I would really like to do is I would like to add a fade in effect all right so for that purpose go to video effects go to transparency select fade in and then click on ok now let me just play the video for you to see how my title is coming up on the screen so right now both my title and the border kind of fades in on the screen and I want to further modify this so I just want my text to first of all fade in and then I want my border to appear so let me just place or let me just start my border after the fade in effect like this perfect so now if I just quickly play the video once again so my text fades in and later on my border comes but it kind of looks a bit um, 
a bit weird because the border kind of directly appears and I want to add some effect to that. So double click on the rectangle object and uh, what we will do is we will go to video effects, transitions, we will click on wipe and then click on OK. Now look inside the wipe settings which is present inside the properties window. Type is door, that's fine. Mode is vertical in, that's also alright. Um, transition levels, since at transition levels we got the values 0 and 100. So reverse the values. So from 0, 100, write the values 100, semicolon 0. And now place the wipe transition right at the start like this. Perfect. So now if I just quickly play the video for you once again from the start. So my text now fades in. That's it. And my title, uh, sorry, my border around my title kind of appears in a really dynamic way. So let me just show you once again how my title is kind of coming up. Perfect. So this is pretty much um, creating a title uh, you can further modify things so first of all um, if if I want to add some movement to this entire thing I can do that as well okay so let's just try that as well so what you need to do or what I will do is what we will do is first of all zoom out your screen and uh, let me just place this entire thing below my screen like this and now I will use the movement object to move my title um, from below to the center of the screen so go to add object sorry click on the sprite object click on the sprite object and now go to add object okay still not visible so double click on the sprite object and now go to add object go to movement click on movement and then click on OK and now move your entire sprite from the bottom of the screen to the center of the screen like this perfect and uh, what I would like to do is you select this endpoint of the movement object and you place it right when the fade in ends so right here perfect so let me just let me just zoom in my screen and let me just show you how the entire thing is kind of turning up so let me just quickly play the video for you perfect let me just play this whole thing in preview as well so that things are clearly visible perfect so this is how you can create a stunning title introduction in VSGC free video editor. This is just one of the ways you can try a lot of different things and create a lot of different, you know, variations in how you can introduce a title. But uh, anyways, that's it for today, guys. Do let me know your thoughts in the coming section below. Like the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I will again see you in the next video. Till then, thanks for watching.